I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. May panibagong topic na naman tayo ngayon. Tapos na tayo sa multiplication of rational expressions at division of rational expression. Ngayon naman, pag-uusapan natin ang addition and subtraction of rational expressions with like denominators. Ang kasunod nito ay addition and subtraction of rational expressions with unlike denominators. Medyo iba ang rule natin kapag ang denominators natin ay magkaiba. Learning competency, the learner performs operations on rational algebraic expressions. So, ito ang ating learning code. A. Recall addition and subtraction of fraction with like denominators. B. Add or subtract rational expressions with like denominators. Magkaroon muna tayo ng review. Find each sum or difference. Halimbawa, 3 over 14 plus 4 over 14. Paano ba tayo mag-add ng fraction na may like denominators? Ia-add natin ang numerators and then we just copy the denominators. So we just add 3 plus 4 is 7 and then we just copy the denominator 14. Therefore, it is 7 over 14. And then we need to simplify our answer in, it, in its reduced form or lowest term. The common factor of 7 and 14 is... 7. So, kailangan natin siyang i-divide by 7. So, 7 divides 7 is 1. And 14 divides 7 is 2. Therefore, our answer is 1 half. Nakuha ba? Okay, 9 over 10 minus 5 over 10. So, same rule, pero this time I we just subtract the numerator. So, 9 minus 5 is 4. We just copy the denominator because it is the same. And then, we need to simplify our answer in its lowest term. So, the common factor of 4 and 10, parehas siyang pwedeng i-divide by what number? By 2. So, 4 divides 2 is 2. 10 divides by 5 is 2 pif. So, same rule lang din ang i-apply natin sa rational expression with like denominator. So, madali lang ito. Nag-provide lang ako ng dalawang example kasi alam ko na madali yung makukuha ang lesson natin ngayon. Okay? So, ngayon ay magkaroon na tayo ng example 1. So, makinig lang mabuti. 6x over 2x plus 3 plus 9 over 2x plus 3. Kung mapapasin nyo, itong dalawang rational expression na i-add natin ay pare sila ng denominator na 2x plus 3. So, we just copy 2x plus 3 and then we need to combine the numerators. Therefore, it will become a binomial 6x plus 9. Then, after combining the numerators, we need to factor yung numerator or denominator. So, pwede natin i-factor yung numerator by CMF, yung 6x plus 9. So, the greatest common factor of 6 and 9 is 3. And then, we just divide to get the remaining factor. Therefore, the factored form is 3 times the quantity 2x plus 3 over 2x plus 3. And then, we just cancel the common factor. So, which is 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3. Therefore, our final answer is 3. Okay? Nine y squared over y minus two minus y squared plus sixteen y over y minus two. So this time we need to get the difference. Okay, nine y squared minus times the quantity y squared plus sixteen y over y minus two. We just copy the denominator. Kung mapapansin yong may parentheses kasi ay iba yung magiging sign. We will distribute the property. Kaya kapag minus sign, kailangan nyo lagyan ng parenthesis yung numerator nung 
isang rational expression. Kasi kailangan nating i-distribute yung sign. So, 9y squared minus y squared then negative times positive, it will become negative 16y over y minus 2. Then, we just simplify by combining like terms. So, yung sa ating numerator, ano ba yung like terms doon? So, yung merong pares ng exponent, which is yung 9y squared, tsaka yung y squared. So, 9y squared minus y squared is 8y squared. Sa Tagalog, kung meron kang sham na y squared at babawasan mo ng isang y squared. Kasi yung y squared understood na 1 yung kanyang constant. So, 9y squared, babawasan mo ng isang y squared. Maka, ang matitira doon ay 8y squared. So, therefore, y squared minus 16y over y minus 2. And then, we just factor using the CMF, yung ating numerator. 8 and 16. What is the common factor of 8 and 16? 8. Y squared and Y. When we're talking about the exponent, we need to get the least exponent. So, therefore, that is Y. Therefore, our CMF is 8Y. Then, we just divide to get the remaining factor. So, 8Y times the quantity Y minus 2. Let us check. 8Y times Y is 8Y squared. 8y times negative 2 is negative 16y over y minus 2. The last step would be cancel the common factor y minus 2. Our answer is 8y. So as easy as that, I hope that in our two examples, you learned the lesson for today. So let's have our activity. So I will be giving you two items to answer, one for addition and one for subtraction. 1, 6m minus 3 over 2m plus 1, plus 2m plus 7 or over 2m plus 1. Number 2, 9y squared over 3y minus 1, minus 1 over 3y minus 1. So, ano pang hinihintayin nyo? Please get your pen and paper. And then, you may uh, pause the video for a while to copy our given. And then, later on, I will be revealing the answer so that you would be able to see if you got it correctly. So, the answers are number 1 is 4, for number 2 is 3y plus 1. So, I hope na nakon yung tama sagot. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then, see you on my next video tutorial. Thank you for your support. I love you all.